for the cloud. Okay. So Angela was, do you want to just read your bio out loud to us, Angela? Oh, did we lose her? Oh, there you are. You're muted. You're still muted. <laughs> okay, sorry. I was trying to put my phone on something and never mind, that didn't work. Uh, so my bio is pretty basic. It says my name, Angela Vegan Girl. It says wife of Mrs. Healthy Habits, which is uh, in relation to my husband's handle, which is Mr. Healthy Habits. He actually just changed that. So I'm going to change that too, probably right there. It already needs a change. Um, but putting out that I'm a wife was important to me. And I'm a mom. So I put mom of two lovely kids. So it's like right there, you've got basic information about me. Vegan, wife, mom. And then my message is spreading kindness in, in so many words. I'm not looking at it right now, but um, spreading kindness. And there's some emojis that kind of fit into that theme, kind of decorative. And then um, if you look in the last line, you kind of have to click on it to read the whole thing because that's where it says more. And it's about how to do health transformation. And I wanted to play with that because the last time I looked at it, it said, ask me about, but I wasn't exactly happy with that. So um, I don't know if I already tweaked it or not. I was going to tweak it. It, and says, it says committed to transforming world health. Oh, is that so, what I put? Okay, I did yeah. play with it. Okay, so that's what I put. Okay. I was trying to remember it. <laughs> okay, I did that cool. like a week or so ago. So I'm going to give some feedback and then we can open it up to other people who want to hear and share. Thank so, you. I mean, it's beautiful. All the emojis, all the kindness, everything you are. And it could be so much more distilled. Like it could get so much more specific. Like yeah. I would say even your the group that you're targeting is vegans or people wanting to become vegan, right? So yeah. even saying... I help vegans or aspiring vegans, you know, and then I would talk about potentially if you choose to lead with the products, like what, what you're actually helping vegans do, which is like deeply, densely nutrify their bodies or, uh, you know, become stronger or um, detoxify or, um, you know, change their taste buds or have a gut balance, you know, gut reset, like you can get really specific because, you know, veganism is on the rise, but it's also in a really gnarly way. There's a lot of like fake and GMO stuff out there that's labeled as vegan. So there's definitely a niche here of like helping specifically vegans or aspiring vegans you know, live really. Um, and I would just get into some of our buzzwords around like dense cellular nutrition or um, regenerative health or, you know, the gut health, like some of those key. Yeah. Um, and then if you want to talk about economy, you can talk about, I help vegans and aspiring vegans um, create financial independence by living vegan, <laughs> you know, something like that. So yeah, really and it's also getting important. specific. Yeah. How do you feel about also um, what's really important to me too, and with Perium is how it's environmentally um, very beneficial. And that's really hot right now is like, you know, it's a, it's a big thing to want to help the environment and it goes hand in hand with Perium. It goes hand in hand with veganism. So that's something that's always been important to me anyway. So I'm looking to have ways to tap into that. And I love the regenerative health um, aspect of it. That's really big for me too. So you're right. I should totally put that on there. Yeah. And you can't get it all in there and you're going to talk about a lot of it in, when you're going live every day and doing interviews and yeah. all these things and stories but getting that bio just down to like what problem you're solving for whom. And I would also put your husband's Instagram. If you're going to put the fact that you're married to him and his, his name, it should be with his clickable Instagram handle. 
You're right. Yeah, I didn't do that before. So I have to change that anyway. So <laughs> thank okay, you cool. so yeah, much. I like welcome. tried to write down every single thing you said because all of it is gold for me. And I've talked to you before about this, how like I found it a little bit frustrating that vegans think they're already like too cool for school sometimes when it comes to nutrition. So <laughs> I really have to like dial in on this a bit more. I help vegans get humble. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Um, any of the other leaders want to pop in, bring on an example? Anybody want to share takeaways of the breakout room work? Yeah, I'll chime in here. I just really want to highlight what, what Naomi's doing. <laughs> She is, she's found her lane and I, Naomi, will you just come on and share about what's happening for you right now with your Instagram profile? Oh, we just need to unmute you, babe. Yeah, sorry. I, I had to close the door. I didn't want the children <laughs> to hear. Uh, yeah, I, um, it's been a breakthrough for me um, with Instagram. I've been studying Instagram since September, uh, getting free, um, literally free training on Clubhouse. And you could go to Clubhouse, all you have to do is just type in um, social media and people can analyze your profile for you and give you feedback for free, social media um, content creators. And um, I've also, to, there you, you'll be amazed how much free training is on YouTube and uh, free training that is literally in bios just for, for Instagram. And I really studied the niche and I studied um, what is working, what is not working. And then I figured out this, we all have to solve, we all have a problem that we can solve for people, but what, what, what problem can I solve for somebody that wants to attract to me and wants to follow me and wants to work with me and loves my lifestyle? Right. And one thing I asked Sarah, I said, what should I do? Like, I'm, I, I know I'm creative. I used to work for the number one GMO soda company known from around the world. I studied sales and marketing for 10 years. What do I need to do? And she said, she said this, she said, Zay, please, can you give me five minutes? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. She said to me, create what you, why, why do you do this? And then, and I said, okay. And then another thing that Ross said, create your vision board. Create literally your vision board, right? Live in your vision board. My Instagram is my vision board. So I, what I did was I created, I created a reel with my family. Why we, my, my handle is powered by plants 19. Well, why is it powered by plants 19? Because my child had eczema and we went, we went plant-based and his eczema started to go away. That's why it's the power of the plants. Both my children are born on the 19th day. And this is why I do it for them. I do it, they, they are my why. And I did a reel, um, if you could, you could go to my reel, it has over 60,000 people looked at my reel. And I started off saying, my son had eczema. The doctors told me, all they wanna do is put steroid cream on him. And then I created a story in one minute. And then I told them that I refused to put a Band-Aid on the problem. That I studied about plant-based. And then he's skin hard to repair. And then I told him, read the caption. And then I told him what I, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> I told them what I, what I read online that really made me change my lifestyle. I use key words, lifestyle and consistency because that's what it is to create change. And in my inbox, I have so many people reaching out to me, sending me pictures of their kid with eczema. Literally all over the body, scratched bodies, blood, all over the place, showing me their whole body in their diapers and everything. Please help me, capital H-E-L-P, exclamation, exclamation. Please help me. 
I have 38 in my inbox right now. I have almost 2,000 followers in the last couple of days. It is my 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 phone literally is crashing because so many followers, so many inboxes, so many comments, and all the work that I created, all the creativity that I created. Now they're seeing me. Now they're seeing me. And you know what? If you look at my profile, I'm showing my lifestyle of my children and sharing with them that health is fun and how they love Perium and how they are my brand ambassadors and how they are inspiring other kids to be healthy. Because when I was on a call with Rachel yesterday, 1 a.m. with the mom who has eczema, she said that her kid was going through my reel and wanted You muted, Naomi, you, you muted. Sorry, five times you, they watched my family. And she had, you know, she had eczema. And they, and, and it was, it's just creating my homeschool, just sharing about kids, sharing about their life, right? And I said, and if you look at what there's one that I said, I'm gonna help. I, at first I was gonna write the caption 1,000 people. Then I said, girl, you better go big. In our mission, and our mission this year is to help 5,555 families feel good on the inside outside because if you, if you may look good on the outside, but you're not feeling good on the inside, right? So that is what's happening for me because I'm using strategic planning, strategic hashtags. And you know who's coming to me? Athletes, because my kids are wrestling. Who's coming to me? Vegans, because we're a vegan family. Who's coming to me? I did one on FDA, FDA approved food diet in your food. Who's coming to me? So people who know about that, right? And another one, I'm a freedom keeper. And who's coming to me? Freedom keepers. And that is what I'm tracking because Sarah said, you attract who you want in your circles. And the other ones, bye. <laughs> I wanna work with those people vegan families, freedom keepers. Those are I want to work with because we all know the freedom keepers, what's happening right now. And that's who I want to work with. So in the result of all this, thank you, baby, please. Okay, we have more. Okay, yes, we all go. I'm sorry. Because of all this, my funnel is overflowing. And all the hard work that I was doing that. I'm saying, why isn't anybody looking at my stuff? Why does this person have all these things, these followers? And I'm amazing. And all the, you know, and crying to Rachel, what's going on? Please go, um, please close the door. Can we please close the door? Give me five minutes. No, no chips. Please close the door. Thank you. Okay, please close the door. Thank you. I'm sorry. No, close the door. Thank you. I'm sorry about that. It's a motherhood, right? And um, so this is the motherhood. So I wanna encourage everybody here that you all are, have a talent. You all have a talent. How can you educate somebody on this talent that you have, right? And the, here's the new algorithm. They want you to save it. They want you to forward it. They want you to comment. Likes or nothing, likes or nothing. And I'm gonna read to you my stats. Is that okay, Stephanie, if I could read my new stats? Yes, go for it. Okay, so I'm gonna go to that, that one reel that went viral. Now they're looking at everything. And today, Ra Rachel and I also have a brand partner connect call because of that, because of this story. So my, I'm gonna go to my 82,816 82, people saw my family. 6,530 people liked it. 478 people comment. 2,606 people forward. 639 saved it. And it's all because of the caption, because I gave them something to do. I said, if you, if you are someone who is suffering from eczema, inbox me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you, if you want my, I gave them something for free. I said, we want my free, free detergent. 
drop a, drop a heart. That is boosting the algorithm. That is boosting the algorithm. And within that result, I in two days, 2,000 followers. Amazing. Amazing. That's called a call to action, you guys. What Naomi did at the end, of, or as her caption, um, was it in the reel or was it down below in the caption below? Yes. At the end, you have to read, read caption. Read caption. Because people need to know what to do. Mm -hmm. right you, you don't think that they know you, it's like they need to know what to do yeah then yesterday the lady said oh it said read caption read the caption and she said this is my this is exactly like me yeah. i needed this right so you yeah. have to give them something to do amazing amazing yeah because people will do what we ask them to do we have that's how we engage them otherwise it's just people watching us it's like entertainment right and we're not here to entertain <laughs> we're here to engage right we want to go beyond instagram so that we're actually talking and um that's the you're doing it naomi you are we doing need a, it Rachel, we need a return of investment out. a return of investment right mm -hmm. what is your roi when you create something the return on investment is sales the return of investment is residual income yeah. That is your create that what your creativity is, what you're creating. So share your life, create your vision board. Don't say, oh, I didn't make, you know, anything with this company. Yes, you did. If you made $100, you made more $100 than yesterday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're making money, right? So be creative and, and share your beautiful life with everybody else. Amen, girl. Right on. Well, we're coming up to the top of the hour. It looks like we've lost Christina. Did we lose her? No, I was just geeking out on insights for a oh. second. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just talk about insights for a moment because you have to have a business account in order to see insights, you guys, right? So if you don't see insights, you need to have or a, a Or a creator account. That's what I have. Oh, okay. Creator. There you go. Which I recommend. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So if you want to see your insights, you want to see what's going on, you want to either be a business or a creator. So any other questions or comments or any other, you know, anyone else that we want to elevate or, you know, support in these final minutes to closing out of the hour here? Mary Beth, do you want to come on? If not, I, I just want to really encourage people to like get into the feeling state of whatever it is you're doing. This is like, if you can get so deep into your why that you're, you, you've got tears or chills or any of that and can transmit that into your bio and into your niche and what problem you're solving for people so that they feel that same feeling when they come across your content and your, your feed that's where you want to get with this. Camille? Can I ask a super quick question? Hey, yeah. So part of my passion, like um, Naomi, I was really just feeling everything that you were saying, but because um, I have a kid that has suffered from, from uh, vaccine damage and, you know, it's, like she's super sensitive to it and can't really like accept it. Um, so I try to respect her, but that's a huge fuel for me. So I'm sure there's other people here that can relate to that, but there's something that's you inside of you that's burning so bad that you want to get it out, but you have to uh, maintain a level of respect for your loved ones. So if anybody has can relate or can chime in on that, that would be awesome. I know we're at the top though. So. Oh yeah, I'd love to speak to that. <laughs> so um, I think that um, it's so important for you to share your passion, you know? Um, and I was just sharing with my team before I came on here today, like I, I, I've been seeing my blind spots over the last little while. And, um, you know, for me, I'm a massive health freedom activist. Like I'm just all about it. And I watched what happened this fall, how it trumped Everything else I was doing, the launch of my cancer course, my work with Purium, I just could not stop obsessing, right? Eric Warrior says, be obsessed about your business. I could not stop obsessing about what was going on in terms of health freedom. Um, and yet I was really quiet about it. Um, 
I wouldn't post about it. I would share to my stories and I certainly wasn't emailing my list about it. So I've been really stepping into that, the need really, it's like a need now to be more transparently honest about who I am and what I feel and why to be telling my story about why I feel the way that I feel, because I think that our voices, we are the minority and um, it's important to share um, why we think what we think and feel what we feel and um, share stories because as we know, the stories are what turn people around. So I don't know if that specifically answers your first question, Camille, but if you, yeah, does that help? Yeah, it does. I just, I just don't want to like, I just out of respect for her and her, you know, her autonomy, she's an adult and she, you know, has her own beliefs and, you know, she's in denial about a lot of things. So I like, it's difficult for me to really come out <laughs> because yeah. out of protection for my child, like, and that's what I'm trying to do is protect other kids, you know? Yeah, but, I hear you. I think there's a way of talking about it without talking about it. And I'm happy to talk with you one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I'd love to support you in this regard because I feel it's what we have great passion for. We have to share, you know, that's attractive. It's inspiring. And, and yes, I totally respect your desire to do it um, in a way that is respectful. So I think Sarah's really good at that. She's really about talking about things without actually talking about things. <laughs> she inspires me in that regard. So tend to wear the my subtle, the subtlety. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tend to be like hard on my sleeve, you know, bleeding hard a bit more so. And so I, I really appreciate Sarah's ability to speak to things without actually speaking verbatim about what's going on. So um there's ways of doing it. It's just, it's an art, Camille. It's an art. Yeah. And I just want to name that, like, we all have that. We all have some family member who has something that is not public and we have to be respectful and we can only share with consent, but we can um, allude to it. Like Stephanie's saying, and that's the art. So, and I found for my husband who also is like super private and it's like so triggering for him that I have this business where we put our lives publicly. It's just been a lot of conversation. It just gives us reason, like, let's drop in about it. Let's listen to each other's feelings. Let's, um, you know, see what's behind that. Let's talk about the lives that can be impacted if we were to share a story. And then he's like, oh, oh. it start like, I've seen a lot of shift happening by just being willing to have the harder conversation. So mm -hmm. I actually have a, I have to go right now. I'm going to have a connect call. I can um, close out. I have one okay. more I wanted to say okay. about that. Yeah. I will. Thank mm -hmm. you. Host. Thanks for making this happen, Christina. So what I wanted to say is that um, <clears throat> way back when, six years ago, um, for those of you who know my story with Purium, I, um, uh, I, uh, it was all about vanity for me. It was all about weight loss. I was 10 years postpartum and I had gained 50 pounds and I was so reticent to show my before and after photos. I did not want to do that. And I had to dialogue with myself about it for about a month. <laughs> and so what I came to, and I was just sharing with my team about this before I got on this call here today, is that what I had to do is I had to put my desire, my desire to serve and help before my ego. So I don't know if someone needs to hear that today, but um, that's, that's what I had to do. And, um, and I, I feel like I have to do that over and over and over again when it comes to sharing vulnerably. I don't, I, I can't be worried about what other people will think about me. Um, I just have to share who I am and express myself. Like what Christina was saying about Sarah, um, express yourself, express yourself, yourself. This is what the social media, social networks are encouraging us to do. And Purium is the vehicle that's getting us to express ourselves. Because if we didn't have to, you know, earn a living, we could just stay at home and stay off social media and just be, you know, bystanders. 
<laughs> but we're not here to be bystanders. We're here to transform lives. We're here to make a difference for people. And, and the social networking is the way to do that. So thanks everybody for showing up today. This was super fun. I learned a lot and I'm inspired by you all. Let's keep growing. All right. So much love to you all. Okay. Yeah. Right. Peace out you guys. Happy Friday. Bye for now.